Hello everyone, today we will replace the battery of my good old Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. This phone was released in 2017, which makes it 3 years old to date. The phone has been great, however, with the time its battery lost almost 50% of its original power. I used this phone a lot, sometimes charging it twice or three times a day, especially when I use it as a mobile hotspot. This practically destroyed its battery. After I complete the replacement of the battery and test the phone, I will talk a little bit about the differences between replacing the battery on iPhone X and Galaxy S8 Plus. If you haven't watched my iPhone X battery upgrade video, you can check it out. Now let's see what comes in the replacement kit. This kit includes all the necessary tools for replacing the battery of the Galaxy S8 Plus. I bought this kit in China for 20 US dollars. This includes the battery and all the tools. If you want to find a similar kit, you can check online. There are plenty of online stores that sell them. This is the adhesive sticker. You will need it to restore the water resistance of the phone. These stickers are also included in the replacement kit. This thin plastic we will use to remove the battery of the phone. Probably you can find many different batteries for Galaxy S8 Plus. This battery is made by Samsung and it's sold in replacement kits. This is exactly the same battery that is currently inside the phone, which is 3500 mAh. If you are searching for a battery kit to replace your old battery, this is a good choice. This battery comes with glue on its back and it's ready for replacement. So without further ado, let's begin. Here we go, first we have to turn off the phone and remove the SIM tray. Opening the Galaxy S8 Plus happens from the back, as the whole back panel is glued to the phone, so we have to heat it. Insert the tool and move it around the panel to cut the adhesive. Always use plastic tools, as the back panel is made from glass. You can heat the back panel a few times to soften the glue, that helps a lot. There is only one cable connecting the back panel with the phone. Open the back panel carefully and disconnect the connector for the fingerprint sensor. There are only two difficult parts with this replacement. The first one is removing the back panel, which is now done, and the second is removing the battery, which is glued to the phone. To reach the battery, we have to remove 15 standard Phillips screws. You can use the Phillips screwdriver which comes with the replacement kit, or your own if you have one. First we remove the upper antenna with the NFC and the wireless charging panel. Second we remove the lower antenna with the single speaker panel. Now we have to disconnect the battery and prepare for the most difficult part, removing the battery. Use the plastic cart which comes with the replacement kit and dig under the battery, cutting the glue. Be patient, this takes time. And here is the battery. With this all the difficult parts of the replacement are finished. Now we have to install the new battery. However, before we do that we have to clean the phone from the glue. Why? Because Samsung loves glue. We also have to clean the glue around the frame to prepare it for the new water-resistant adhesive. Here is the final result, I did my best, it wasn't easy indeed. However, you have to know that the better is cleaned, the better the new glue will stick, and this is important for the water resistance of the phone, so do your best. 
Of course there is more, now we have to clean the back panel. And here it is, nice and clean, it takes time, so be patient. Now, after we clean the phone, we can insert the new battery, but only for a test, just to be sure that everything is working fine. So we only connect the battery and start the phone. After this test, we have to turn off the phone, disconnect the battery and remove it. For proper installation of the battery we have to remove all the plastic stickers and then glue the battery to the foam. I recommend first to connect the battery and then place it, so the cable can be in the right position. Now first we have to place and screw the lower antenna with the speaker. The second is the upper antenna panel with NFC and wireless charging. After everything is on its place nice and tight, we have to proceed with the back panel. We begin by installing the water resistant adhesive sticker. The purpose of these adhesive stickers is to keep the back panel strongly tied to the phone. And with this the replacement of the battery is complete. Now we have to connect the connector of the fingerprint sensor which is on the back panel with the phone. And then we can stick the back panel to the phone. Press the back panel nice and tight to the phone so it can stick well. Now we can bring back the SIM tray, start the phone and begin testing it. These tests are intended to test the features of the phone that depend on the components we disconnected and then connected for the replacement of the battery. First we will test the Wi-Fi connection. If Apple's website is loading fast, this means the Wi-Fi is working well. Now we can test the lower speaker of the phone. Now very important test, the fingerprint sensor, you have to be very careful and connect it properly, if not you have to open the phone once again, which will be a disaster. Face unlock check, works fine. Now we can test the wireless charging, we remove and then install again the whole wireless panel. By the way, you can test all this even before you close the phone, so this is not a problem. And last but not least, the most important test, the charging of the battery. As a new battery, don't forget to discharge it completely before you charge it again. With this all the tests are complete, first I want to say that replacing the battery of the Galaxy S8 Plus is not a difficult task, except for removing the battery itself, the way Samsung glued the battery to the phone makes the replacement very difficult. For example, removing the battery of an iPhone happens much easier. 
If you have Galaxy S8 or other old phones, I recommend replacing the battery. My test shows that this not only improves the battery life, but also the phone works faster. I am not sure if this is made on purpose, to lower the speed of the phone if the battery is old, or just the battery can't power the phone the same way when it was new, but this is real. If you replace the old battery, you will experience a quicker response of the phone. When it comes to differences between replacing the battery on the Galaxy S8 Plus and the iPhone X, which I did in the previous video, the replacement on the iPhone is easier. It seems Samsung really loves glue and they use it a lot. The water-resistant adhesive stickers on the Galaxy S8 Plus are also different, with much more glue. However, this is understandable, as the design which connects the back panel to the phone is different. I saw some of the comments on my iPhone X battery upgrade video. Some people are saying that 300mAh is a very small upgrade. However, this is not true. This upgrade gives more than an hour extra battery life. The iPhones don't have bigger batteries because they're very well optimized, not only iOS but also the hardware. The test shows that even with smaller batteries, iPhones have better battery life than many Android phones with much bigger batteries. So people who are saying that 200 US dollars Android phone with 4000 mAh battery is better than iPhone 10 must be dreaming. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Don't be shy and your battery will become 10000 mAh. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.